Tonga's done a fantastic job letting us know what the priorities were and we're here today because the southern Hapai Islands were one of the hardest hit area in Tonga. So we're being able to bring in a whole range of stores which have been transported by the ADF at Tonga's request. Things like water tanks, septic tanks, roofing iron, those really critical things that can help a community rebuild. The last month or so we've been focusing more on the immediate needs, basically food and water. And we're thankful for the assistance from uh, Australia. But now we're slowly moving towards the recovery and reconstruction part. And, and the visit today is, is very important, so we can actually see firsthand what the challenges are and what, what we need to actually peel back. In the Pacific, as you probably know, our family is everything. And as you can see, even like uh, in, in a community such as Nomuka, the reason why they're more resilient, they're, they're resilient is basically because of, of the family, the family support, the family structure they have in place. Ever since then, with the outbreak of the COVID-19, makes it harder to actually travel and actually support them and provide assistance. And that's why I think having that family structure, providing that kind of support is vital to actually getting back uh, Tonga back to their feet. Uh, simply maro, I mean, thank you in Tonga. I mean, it's a lot of, uh, of good work, especially with, with uh, what you've done to the island communities, helping with the cleanups and so forth, apart from the supplies that you provided. If it wasn't for Australia and some of our development partners, I guess we won't be where we are right now in terms of getting some normalcy in some of the communities that were hard hit by the tsunami on the 15th of January. So, uh, Malo Aubito.